So we got a good question, something that we haven't answered before. How to buy the right dildo for you, for your vagina, which isn't super easy and there are so many products on the market. It's like flooded. That's a good, that's a good question. I have a good answer. Take a cucumber, no, take a zucchini, because the cucumbers got seeds in the middle. It's too smushy. Yeah. Get a zucchini and carve the size you think you want. And try it. Feel it, try it. And then if you want it a little smaller, take it down a little, and, and do it several times until you get the size you want that feels good. Right, and you might go too small at first, so maybe buy two or three zucchinis. <laughs> get another at the same zucchini. Time. But zucchini is the best. Because um, you used to use them in the workshops before they had dildos marketed to women. I did one at one workshop. I came back from the from the break and they, I had, love eat, they had eaten their dildos. <laughs> <laughs> I said no, that wasn't for eating. That was for fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so we went back in the kitchen and peeled more, and anyway, it was cute. But it's a great way because you know there's size, so you know yeah. what size fits good. You know is good for you. Mm -hmm. Then there's material. You know, you want to avoid anything that isn't natural. Silicone, if you want the soft ones. They can have phyllites and all kinds of chemicals Ugh. that are carcinogenic in those toys. So you always want to spend a little bit of money. And if you want the soft, go for the silicone. We use medical grade stainless steel for our barbell. Then the glass toys are great because yeah. they're fun and they're pretty. <clears throat> and But you want to avoid anything that's porous or anything that has etching in it or any kind of notch, because bacteria can build up in there. Yeah, stay with glass or metal. Something natural. Um, or the silicone, the, the, the high level, high quality. I like glass myself and, and stainless steel. <laughs> I like stainless steel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's my preference, but you know, you can try different. Except different... now, lately I have been having a mad, passionate affair with my beautiful, silicone dildo that is shaped exactly like the penis I always want. There you go. And it's multicolored. And it has a flared base. I really love that because it's much easier if you're going to penetrate yourself and use it during masturbation. You've got something to hold on to. Because otherwise you have all the, the oil, the lubricant, and then it kind of like slips off. Oh, it's very there it goes. <laughs> It can pop the flared base, and then it also is good because you can just stick it on your nightstand. It doesn't like roll off into the ground and get a whole bunch of hair and dust bunnies on it. it it's, and you can store them and present them and have them around. They're pretty. Yes, mine's beautiful. I, I'm crazy about it. <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed that your silicone, your latest love, has a little curve to it. My preference as well. And now, always ahead. Yes, it has a head like a penis. You know, you want that little ridge. There's something about the shape and size of a penis head that is kind of perfection. Yeah. With the barbell, you get it with the... Yeah, we have the ball, and then we have two rows yeah, of ridges. But it's really the ball on the end that is, is getting it. It's that little edge where you can lip it in and out. <laughs> you know, that's... And I good. think in nature, wouldn't that be... Pulling the uh, the uh, the old sperm out so that the new goes. Kind in. of, it would be pulling the head out, in and out. Yeah, there's a function there, yeah. and it, it's just kind of like vagina is made for that little ridge. That's also my preference. Well, I had so much fun with my dildo the other day that it was shocking that someone my age would be carrying on like that. Well, dildos don't quit. Mm -mm. Dildo's always there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go as long as you can yeah, go. Yes. And even with partner sex, they're great to have around, to start or to finish. We shouldn't have this thing that our partner has to be the only lover. No, no. They, a, a, good, mm -hmm. a good male lover will keep a couple of dildos on hand. So when he gives out at about the time she's really turned on. And I would also say lesbian lovers. We should also open that up because I think sometimes we have our purists that don't yes. believe in sex yeah. toys. Yeah. But fingers get tired. Tongues get tired, <laughs> you know? Yes. Sex toys can be our best friends. Well, right now it's certainly mine. <laughs> My favorite. My favorite dildo. <laughs> and some trial and error, buy a couple, test them out. 
um, and your taste can change. But overall, I have two that I always, I have one that's curved and it's a series of large balls. And I really like all the ridges. And then I have one that's um, like a mushroom cap in glass on the edge with on a good curve edge. to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, right now, mine is the silicone, the quality. And it's sizable. <laughs> so enjoy your dildos. And take very good care. I always wash it. I always make sure it's dry. And I put it in a place where it can ventilate and get sunshine. Get good care of your sex toys.